So we'll get uh, the 52nd Company. is getting mustered up to present Company. the Battlefield no. Trust with some money. I was impressed how much money they were able to raise. Uh, All right, gentlemen, oh, a lot of that came right out of their own pockets. They had a they had a, a group of and Frank will talk more about it. But these guys raised that money themselves, and what an incredible gesture! You know, our, our German friends helping us with our battlefields over here, and that's all made possible through our friendship that was created in game. You know, this is not a, necessarily a virtual world; it is a world. We're able to communicate with people all across the globe now uh, from the comfort of our own homes. It's pretty incredible. It really is. Uh, and I, you know, if, if there was a text that said how much money was raised, I haven't seen it yet. So I haven't, I'm not, I'm behind on my messages. So I can't wait. And whatever the amount, I'm, uh, I, I'm so well, don't let me tease you too much. honored that you would go out of your way to raise money for us. Well, that, I'm uh, sorry to interrupt, but yeah, don't let me tease you too much then because uh, it's, it's a lot from my point of view. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, these guys really did a great job there. We're all very proud of everybody in the UEC and, you know, 52nd New York. One of the absolute leaders of the TGV, but they're such a great group. And fröhlich ein bisschen nach rechts eindrehen die Fahne, so dass sie komplett sichtbar ist und so 10, 20 Grad so ungefähr. Dein rechts oder mein rechts? Dein über deine linke Schulter. I love this aspect of it too, that we can kind of peep in to their conversation so like during a battle you'll hear the real life tactics going on and the guys saying okay we're gonna move around here and then watch the guys do it yeah one thing i really like is that because there's no you know unless they're using a, a third party service like discord or something to, to pass messages between units you need to have a runner you need to dispatch and go over and let the commander that you're trying to get in touch with know exactly what your situation is and it simulates the fact that there would have been a real palpable delay between when you need to ask for help and when you the, the message gets received and when the help actually arrives <laughs> yeah and some of those guys some other groups do use those kind of in-game communications uh, some choose not to the UEC one of the special things about this group is they do have a stunning amount of rules uh, coming from from our German friends, that is no surprise, and they are very n meticulous at it, uh, but it makes such a well-oiled machine, and they just run these events like a damn fine-tuned watch, and, uh, you know, we're all lucky because of it. And you can see the boys here, Captain Frank, there's Lieutenant right. Winters, O'Keefe, and these are all the boys that raised the money. Fine, fine looking group of young men. Mm -hmm. And with customization, I I bet, uh, Evan, you're right. We're going to see a lot of beards coming out pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nonsense, though. And flag bears in this game, just in case you don't know, are mobile spawn points. So as you die in game, you're not dead for the whole round. Uh, you can spawn back in, but there is a, a time penalty for dying. Um, but if the lag is in line, then you will uh, be able to spawn right back in at the hottest action. There's some really interesting mechanics with that and the, and the formations as well, because it emulates the idea of, you know, having a full line versus, say, a skirmish or a picket versus, you know, just one person. And you're penalized for, for leaving oh, formation in the same way that you really wouldn't see too much of that. Yeah, and it's basically these battles are weighed on morale, uh, not necessarily the number of kills. So as your team experience losses, and whether they be in line or out of line, uh, you lose morale. And the, the, basically the side that loses the most morale loses the match. They break and run, just like real life. <laughs> yes. And the artillery in this game is so punishing that uh, like real life, the guy you can see the real in-game companies start to waver. It's pretty incredible mm -hmm. to watch. Yeah. So, I'm back. Um, if you are ready, we are ready. Absolutely, take it away, Captain Frank. Okay. Company, Company. present arms. arms. Company present arms. So, yeah, last uh, November we celebrated the 6th anniversary of our 52nd New York Infantry Unit. 
This was uh, celebrated in a very special way, namely by a melee competition between several teams. Uh, for every casualty during the tournament, uh, the NCOs and COs donated of the 52nd New York uh, donated a set amount uh, of money. And I can say from my wallet, <laughs> it was a tournament with a lot of casualties. Uh, the winning team of the tournament, uh, Captain Livington and his soldiers of the 51st New York uh, Infantry, decided that the money should be donated to the American Battlefield Trust because, yeah, we said that the winning team shall decide to which charity we shall donate. And yeah, and I'm pleased to announce that the 52nd New York Infantry, together with other supporters of the German volunteers, have raised uh, 1,300 euros, which is about uh, $1,450, to donate to the American Battlefield Trust. Um, we would like to, uh, the money to be used to educate, pe uh, as I said before, we would like to, uh, the money to be used to educate people about the 52nd New York and what they did during the various campaigns while they served in the Union Army. Uh, ultimately, we want to preserve a bit of uh, the Union history that serves us as an inspiration for us in the f and for people in the future. Um, I'm also pretty sure that this was not the last fundraiser. And after all, the Slaughter Pen Farm uh, needs us too. But uh, I think that uh, in the future. Uh, last but not least, I would like to thank all the participants in the tournament, as well as all the donors uh, who made this campaign possible. Uh, thank you for your great cooperation in the community. Also, uh, a thank uh, to the American Battle Fast, uh, which is yeah represented here today by Gary, um, to accept our donation. And we are honored uh, by your presence. Thank you, and cheers to you all. Wow. Uh, thank Captain Frank, Shoulder. thanks so much. Uh, that does make a difference. And as the education lead at Trust, I can tell you we will use money um, for sure. And I can dedicate myself to doing something good about the 52nd New York. Uh, and with funds like that, with only a hundred and some soldiers at Antietam during the actual battle, um, we should be able to do something good. So I, I can't thank you enough on behalf of, of the trust. That's very generous of you all. And I hope this is the beginning of um, more cool things we do together. Yeah, hopefully. And uh, now uh, we have still a small volley for you uh, to honor you. <laughs> Company. <laughs> Fire by company. Ready. Company. Aim for salute. Aim for salute. Company present arms. Fire. New York volunteers. X. 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 Yeah. Oh, a little more cry. Thank you very much. <laughs> very well very done, cool. Captain Frank. Very well done. All right. So from uh, everybody here today, thank you for being on the stream for the drill and the ceremony. We're going to go away for just a few moments and be back for the battle. So stay around. We'll be back shortly. Thanks for joining us.